Someone asked, what is the relationship of Jesus and Krishna? And what is the reference that Jesus went to Vrindavan? Why do you guys make me react to these things? All right, let's hear the reference. So Srila Gurudev explained that in the Aquarian Gospel, it says that Jesus as a teenager went to Vrindavan. The Aquarian Gospel? The New Age book written by Levi Dowling in 1908? Not even a Hindu text? That's your reference? Uh, this is going to be a painful one. Spoke with the priest there, and then he went to Jagannath Puri and spoke with the priests there and learned a lot from them. In Vrindavan, everyone pronounced Krishna as Krishna, in Jagannath Puri as Krishna. Then he went back to his own hometown to preach. So it went from Krishna to Krishna to Krista to Christ. And Christ is another name for Krishna because Christ means the anointed one. And Krishna is always anointed with beautiful tilak. That's the connection you made? Christ means the anointed one? And when Hindus worship Krishna, they apply tilak to images and idols of Krishna, therefore Jesus is the son of Krishna? What a groundbreaking revelation. You've opened my third eye. Jesus said we have to be about the business of our father. And Krishna in the Gita says, I am the seed giving father of all living entities. So there's no quarrel between God and God's son. Another groundbreaking connection. Why do you guys do this to me? Can I get something worth responding to?